my top five best GTA online businesses. It's clearly a lot, but uh, it's a ninety thousand cut out of your out of your contract. So obviously, that's not. It's pretty good, but still, if you want to get the full money, maybe buy an arcade first. And that's why I think this is the best business to start out with. And after you do a few heists, you can have the exotic sports list, which gives you 40,000 per car that you deliver to the auto shops. So if you just dedicate one whole day to finding out where the cars are, you can make $400,000 because you get 40. So obviously this is a pretty good deal. I would I would do it if I had the time, but I don't really. And that's why I think it's the best business, first of all. But if we head over to my CEO office, which if you're playing, which if you have the criminal enterprise pack, is free. This one specifically, uh, you can go over and. Um, see that you can export mixed goods, which is a really good save. And as you can see right here, it will have a blue dot. Speaking of the um, import export goods, it will have a blue dot and it will be an exotic car. But I'll do that later because I want to get on with the video. So now you have to drive over to um, the office, which might take me. A few minutes, but while I'm talking, I'll tell you why it's a good investment to get one of these and a warehouse. So the warehouse, you can buy uh, some shipments for eighteen thousand, I believe, and you just go collect the shipments. And the shipments, um, I don't know, but they'll range from. 5,000 which is the max for normal goods and like 50,000 is the minimum for special goods. I don't know. These are just guesses because I really just don't want to go look. And you can also come over here and talk to your system. Export mix good. You can do this every 45 minutes once you have a warehouse. That may, it makes you 10,000. So while you're searching for cars, you can do that also. Um, you also can go on your computer and buy a vehicle cargo shop. I haven't done that, obviously, to get a lot of more money. I think you get like 250,000 per like pristine condition car. I don't know. I don't have it. Um, that's just my guess on what it would be uh, for the vehicle cars and if you want to check out the precise prices you can go look at other tutorials on what's the best um, what's the best business in GTA um, in number three to in number three I will have the um, what do you call it? Acid Lab. The Acid Lab is a mobile lab where you can make acid, which is kind of like one of the meth labs or cocaine labs, but it's mobile. Um, you have one worker, which makes it kind of slow, but you can boost production by doing some certain thing. It only takes 10 seconds. But the reason I would mainly focus on this is because it's pretty hard to uh, source all of it to get a full shipment and the full shipment isn't even that much it's only 300,000 which is good if you're starting because yeah and you also have to complete DAX Fooligan missions which are honestly just annoying and tedious to do um, you have to finish 10 of them and those 10 will make it so you unlock the acid lab 
but you have to pay 750000 just to upgrade it to an acid lab and get all the equipment and stuff. So, obviously not the best choice, but it still it makes good money, so I had to put it up here. Um, on my fourth, from what I've heard, I'll put up the meth lab or cooking lab because they each, they each get looted easily, I'm pretty sure, but they still make you good money and the shipments can sometimes be annoying. Like, when, when you ship out a full entire stock of them, it can be annoying sometimes. So, definitely wouldn't do this if you want to make easy money. But, you do get easy production because if you have enough resources, you can, or if you have enough lab equipment and stuff, you can definitely make it while being AFK, which is kind of cool. But... I wouldn't do this if it's kind of not, if you like, don't have a lot of time to play GTA. And that, that's for my number four spot. Oh, and I forgot to mention something about the auto shop. You can also have other people bring, you can have people, NPCs bring in their cars and you can, you can either, uh, you can either make your workers do it, but I wouldn't really make the workers do it because you have to pay $208,000 for the workers and just quite frankly, I don't think it's worth it to get people to automatically get you money by just selling, um, by just selling uh, your cars and delivering them because they might not be in the best condition, the cars, so I would just definitely can do it and make money off that and not lose a bunch of money, which is kind of my my opinion, but you can not do that also. Uh, another, another thing I wanted to point out is in GTA, it's really hard to make millions and millions really fast. You just have to make, you have to like dedicate three days or like four days to make like five, uh, not five, but like, Million, and you have to grind really hard during that time so it's definitely not going to be the easiest thing to make a lot of money like as you can see right here i delivered a car for forty thousand dollars and see that was pretty easy money but to be fair uh this machine gun i have is only uh this machine gun i have is $31,000 if you want to get that machine gun from the um, car van. So, honestly, $40,000 is not that good because the machine gun is one of the best weapons, in my opinion, because it, it, if you use it precisely, it doesn't take up that much ammo, and you can, like, stock up a bunch of ammo and never have to reload any clips. Um, I'm getting sidetracked, but... Because it has the point of money in it. So if you if you're working on weapons, this is just an extra thing I can tell you. And the gun van is where you can find the, the mini gun for uh, for twenty thousand uh, forty thousand dollars. But uh, if you just want to do it at like some ammunition shop, like this ammunition, it's gonna cost you being rank one hundred twenty and. Uh, I'm, I'm only, I'm only a rank, uh, like, 53 or something, and it's just gonna take a long time for one of the OP weapons, so I wouldn't recommend doing the ammunition one, but I mean, if you don't want to go and search for every week for a, uh, gun van, you cannot do that, totally, you can just uh, level up and focus on other things, but I went to that personally. And my fifth business, I would definitely have to put my counterfeit money because I only make around 250000 for like the minimum load, which is still good, but I mean, it's kind of hard to deliver 10 things, especially if you don't want to share some of the money or like find a prospect or an assistant 
for your CEO or motorcycle club business, it's definitely hard to deliver 10 packages of counterfeit money within like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So I would definitely put that at number five just because how annoying it is to do it as solo. And I usually do stuff solo because it's kind of annoying to put up with other people. But usually, but usually, um, aren't that well prepared or equipped because they might have not enough, enough, um, enough money to get good guns and stuff. I mean, I don't blame them. They're probably new or they just don't care and trying to get money. But honestly, I wouldn't do um, the counterfeit cash business, even though it's free um, for the criminal, criminal enterprise pack on Steam. Uh, I wouldn't do it personally that much. But I mean, it's pretty easy to stock up again because there's these stash houses where you can stock up again on the kind of money cash uh, cash business uh, because they'll give you supplies once you kill all the gang members in there and leave the area. But, um, that's basically it. Um, my top five of best money businesses for GTA and Thanks for watching.